at the time of Nasruddin Shah. This ruler of Persia was a despotic ruler like of which you will scarcely find in the history of the world. He suffocated any breath of progress in Persia, but at the same time he wanted to show off that he was a progressive ruler of that country. Towards the end of the life of Baha'u'llah, I mean 1890 or 1891, some of the Persian students returned from Europe and translated two books from French into Persian. These two translations contained some ideas of renovation of Persia, rebirth of the ideas of the glory of Persia, and so on and so forth. The king heard about it, and he was in wrath about this work to have been done in his country while he is alive. Now, as he wanted to show that he is a progressive ruler, he is not against literature, he is not against translation, not against any new printed book. What did he do? He first imprisoned the Baha'i, so that the news would be spread all over Persia that the king is again against the Baha'is, imprisoning them to defend the faith of Islam. Three hands of the cause were imprisoned. Two of them were sent to Qazvin. One of them remained in Tehran, but in prison. And the two persons who had translated those two books also were sent to Qazvin to be imprisoned with the Babis. The people only knew about the Babis being incarcerated, but not about those two translators. They were imprisoned, Baha'u'llah calls the prison, fortified prison, a very strong dungeon in Ghazvin. It had two stories, one downstairs under the ground and the, on, the other one up on the level. Those two young men were having a very beautiful furnished room. They were allowed to have whatever they were in need of from their own houses. Special servants had been sent to serve them every day. But our two behind prisoners were down below the cellar, their feet in bonds and fetters, and the food provided for them was consisting of castor oil and a piece of dried black bread. That was all they gave them twice in 24 hours. One day after some months, they decided to go and visit them and find out what was the cause of all this merrymaking down below. When they went there, they were really astounded when they saw them in fetters and so happy. What do you eat? They showed them the food, the bread. Is there anyone to come see you? Never. We don't need anyone. But you know about us. We have a special room. Everything is brought to us from our houses. And we have servants. And we are dying because of being imprisoned here. And you are so happy here. What is the reason? Janaba Amin, the trustee of Hogu, said something absolutely historical. We must always remember. He said, because you are not prepared for this. Baha'u'llah has prepared us to give our lives for him. Now what is imprisonment to us? Nothing. We are ready to give him our lives. You are prepared 
to be always cuddled in comfort, in pleasure, and in easy life. But we are not. We accept it with the utmost of pleasure in the path of God.